Ocean Gate Expedition submarine, the Titan, disappeared on Sunday, June 18th, only two hours after it was submerged underwater on its scheduled voyage to explore the remnants of the sunken Titanic. The company has confirmed all five passengers are dead after debris from the submersible was found. The Titan submerged in the afternoon on June 18th for its voyage to explore the 111-year-old ship, which sank in 1912 after striking an iceberg in the Atlantic Ocean. The vessel is not a normal submarine that is able to return to the surface. The Titan needs its mothership, the Polar Prince, to guide it back from the bottom of the ocean floor. However, the Titan lost contact with the Polar Prince, and Ocean Gate contacted the Coast Guard for a search. Five passengers were aboard the submersible. The CEO of Ocean Gate Stockton Rush, British businessman Hamish Harding, Pakistani businessman Shahzada Dawood and his teenage son, Suleiman, and French oceanographer Paul-Henri Narjolet. Ocean Gate has confirmed their deaths and the Coast Guard has notified their families. The five explorers embarked on the educational expedition to experience the depths of Titanic's sunken ruins, paying $250,000 per seat, according to Ocean Gate. The company marketed the voyage as not a tourist attraction but an opportunity to become one of the few to see the Titanic with your own eyes. The vessel was equipped with 96 hours of oxygen when it embarked on its voyage. Though the Coast Guard rushed to search for it, the Titan was estimated to have run out of oxygen in the early morning hours of Thursday, June 22nd, according to the U.S. Coast Guard. On Tuesday, June 20th, the U.S. Coast Guard Admiral John Mager confirmed that they detected an unidentified noise while searching for the Titan. However, he explained that while it was a focus to look at, they still didn't know the source of that noise. The mysterious noise was actually a banging noise. U.S. Coast Guard Petty Officer 3rd Class Brianna Carter told people on Wednesday, June 21st that they didn't have anything at this time indicating any implosion or banging. On Thursday, June 22nd, the U.S. Coast Guard announced that one of their ROVs, remotely operated vehicles, had uncovered something within the parameters of its search. A debris field was discovered within the search area by an ROV near the Titanic, the Coast Guard statement. Experts within the Unified Command are evaluating the information. The Coast Guard said in a June 22nd news conference that the debris found is consistent with a catastrophic loss of the pressure chamber. Upon this determination, we immediately notified the families. Five major pieces of debris were found. Initially discovered were a nose cone outside the pressure hull and the front end bell of pressure hole. The Coast Guard is continuing to map debris field. When asked about body recovery, the spokesman said, this is an incredibly unforgiving environment. The debris is consistent with a catastrophic implosion of the vessel. The submersible didn't make it to the Titanic before imploding. As the Coast Guard spokesman explained, this morning, and Rav discovered the tail cone of the Titan submersible approximately 1,600 feet from the bow of the Titanic on the seafloor. The debris is consistent with the catastrophic loss of the pressure chamber. While the search for the submersible was still ongoing, OceanGate received major backlash when a since-deleted job posting for a submersible pilot, marine technician by the company went viral. While it is unclear when it was posted, in a screenshot captured, the company listed an immediate opening to help manage and operate their fleet of submersibles and support vehicles. We are looking for a committed and competent individual with a combination of strong mechanical and interpersonal skills who can work on sensitive marine equipment, the listing read. Perform regular maintenance and operate complex systems to support dive operations. Users quickly took to Twitter to slam the company and their insensitivity to the situation.